Here is a toy called Electronic Playground 130 and the name comes from the fact that it lets you build 130 projects. This is intended for ages 12 and up. It, it is branded by Elenco, which is a company north of Chicago in Wheeling, Illinois. However, the toy was made in East Southeast Asia in the country of Myanmar. With this book, it comes with a note. They want their reputation maintained, so they say do not send back to the retailer, contact the company, so they must have a good customer service. Uh, this is a book that contains all the schematics and uh, description of the projects. However, if you go to the website, to the Alenco website, you will find PDF of this book for free to download. So if you damage or uh, lose your book or need one uh, to make your own projects, you can look it up and download for no charge uh, the Electronic Circuits book. This also comes with this console depicted on the box, and the console looks just like that. I have it out here. Uh, now the console is kind of flimsy. It's made out of stiff cardboard here on the outside. The only plastic parts are the sides here, so it's not very, uh, not very sturdy. It's probably sufficient for all the projects, for, for all the things to build. If you flip it over, you'll notice that the back is extremely flimsy. There is like a very thin cardboard. And again, probably sufficient for uh, what's intended for. Uh, now, this used to be, I think it started from 30 bucks, uh, and now it's about 50 on Amazon. If you find it cheaper, uh, you know, good luck. I paid, I bought a couple of these at the thrift store. And I didn't pay that much, I paid less than $10 each. Now, these things, if you look up uh, Amazon reviews, will have negative reviews regarding the battery holder. Now, if you look at the details uh, here, you will notice that the positive side will have ridges. Let me flip it over. Maybe on this side will be better visible. You see those ridges by the positive. And these actually prevent the battery from touching the contacts. So let me put three batteries on one side and show you exactly what the problem is. Now the batteries fit very snugly in the holders, so they seem to have a good contact with uh, both sides of the spring, which is obviously good contact. But uh, that part, the positive part, it actually doesn't contact the battery at all. And if you take a thin little piece of paper, like I did here, you can actually stick it between the holder and the positive, and you can see that there is a gap. Uh, it doesn't touch the battery. Your battery holder doesn't make a good contact with the batteries. What you may do is use a knife, a little sharp Stanley box cutter, and then shave off some of the ridges. You don't have to cut them completely off, but just shave off some of them, and that way the battery will uh, have a good contact with, the, uh, with this terminal right here, and you can do it on each side. And I'm going to flip it to the other side and show you a very simple way to check it. If you have a voltmeter, any kind, a DC voltmeter, uh, then all you do is uh, connect one cable, one side of the probe to the bottom, and this should have 1.5 volts. And this is okay, so the connection is fine. And then the other is the 3 volts, so it should be 4.5 uh, right here. And we have the full connector. The batteries are slightly depleted, they're used, but they're still okay for the toy. Uh, but this is the simple way to check uh, what's going on. You can also go between the middle spring and the top one, and you should have about 3 volts, and you have 2.9 here, so this is all good, the connection is working now. If, but if you don't have a voltmeter, what you can do 
is connect the wire from the bottom terminal to the speaker and the top one uh, to the speaker very temporarily. You don't want to connect it, uh, but you want to hook it up for a moment. I have connected the center terminal all the way here to the speaker and I'm going to use the other end which is right in the bottom and uh, all I'm going to do is just tap. I don't want to connect it but just tap the spring with the end of the wire. Now I hear the sound which means that the battery is connected and I also can do the same using the 3 volts so that way I will know that all the batteries are connected. The toy has great educational value, I think. It's got a bunch of basic uh, parts, electronic parts, a whole bunch of resistors, some cups, capacitors, a couple of chips. It's a great toy. If you get it cheaper than 50 bucks, then I think it's worth it. Uh, but it's not going to be very durable uh, because of its construction, its cardboard construction, which is unfortunate. If this were all made of plastic, uh, that would be perfect. However, if you are gentle, if you are careful, this will last a while. So that's my review. I just want to say that this comes with cables for all the connections. It has an old-timey earpiece in the bag as well. If you find that the springs, which is a very clever idea, and they should snugly, uh, snugly connect to the wires, but if you have a problem with it, you may use Contact cleaner and dioxide, it's excellent stuff. It's about 18 bucks for the can now. It used to be 10 years ago. Uh, but you don't want to spray it directly on the spring, uh, but you can spray it on a Q-tip. And then wrap the Q-tip around the spring uh, on each of the contacts and you'll find it uh, working like a charm. So there is a little transformer with split winding on one side and single winding on the other side. This is for audio. Speaker, of course, we already checked. And there is a digital seven segment display, very typical for many, many applications now. There's no control and potentiometer, 10 kilo ohms. These are the battery terminals. And you have the 1.5 between these two, three between these two, you have 4.5 here and you have a separate voltage here so you can connect it in series if you need higher voltage. Now we have a few dials, we have three types of dials here. And there's a switch, double throw switch right here. There's a push button, temporary push button. We have four electrolytic capacitors. We have three transistors on this side. We have one operational amplifier right here, simple, single, a double operational amplifier. We have a, a circuit which is a quad NAND gates, uh, four NAND gates right here. There is a photo resistor uh, right here and we also have uh, three LED diodes with resistors with serious resistors right here and we have a bunch of resistors here uh, these are spare terminals uh, just to make connection if you want to make uh, some connections with other stuff. This is little the adjustable capacitor that's for the radio project and there is a ferrite antenna for the radio project. So overall it's a very nice set of uh, items of electronic components and allows you to build a whole bunch 130 projects according to the book. So I would recommend that if you find a little cheaper and you have a kid or you are interested in building stuff like that for your own uh, education, that's just a perfect little set.